Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy and this is a little news update for those of you who have or may be thinking about purchasing the Hey Gears Ultracraft Reflex RS or the previous model, the OG Ultracraft Reflex. Now, it's one of the most controversial printers in the 3D printing space right now. And one of the reasons why that came to be is because the slicer that's used for those printers exclusively is called the Blueprint Slicer. It's online only. And when people found that out, they got all mad because they don't like online only stuff. And when I got around to Hey Gears, they said they were working on an offline mode. Well, as of right now, October 31st, 2024 at 1030 PM, they have made good on their promise. They have updated the Blueprint Studio software to include an offline mode. So let me show you that right now. So I'm on my desktop computer, usually connected via ethernet, but not no more. So I'm disconnected. So here's my My Mini Factory page, or maybe it would have been if I were online. But as you can see, as I try to refresh, nothing is happening. I am not on the internet, all right? See down there, not on the internet, no internet access. All right, but I can go to Blueprint Studio. So I've already updated it. I got it down here in the taskbar. I'm just gonna click on that. And here is the login page, which you would normally have to log into before uh, this update hit. So you see here, you got login or you have continue in non-login mode. I have to agree to the privacy policy in terms of use. Hit that button there and it says, when using the software as a guest, all data are stored on the current computer only. Those data are only accessible in non-login mode. All right, got it. And this is what it looks like when you are not connected to the internet. So you can just go to new project right here. You pick your printer. Let's just say I'm gonna use this past 10 resin. It's the cheapest resin they got, 50 micron layer height. Go ahead and do that. And let's drag some files in. So I'm gonna just grab a random file here. Here's something that I was printing these ninja orcs. So I'm just gonna drag this ninja orc over in here. There it is right there. He doesn't have a head, no weapons, but that's what's cool about these, you customize them. But anyway, the slicer looks exactly how it looks when you are online, but you do lose out on some of that always connected functionality. Uh, for example, here, um, if you want to do like help and feedback, for example, I mean, you're not on the internet, so how could you possibly send something to tell them that something is wrong because you have absolutely no internet connection, you know, and then if there were any updates and tweaks that they decided to do to this, then um, of course you wouldn't get those either. But let's just say I wanted to slice this up and I just give this a little bit of a tilt here and I just go to support. Oh, and by the way, here's a little tip for the auto supports here. Um, this is a, something that I learned from, uh, what was his name, Battle Brother Sam? I think that's the YouTube channel. And uh, what he did in his video for the Ultracraft Reflex RS, let me show you some settings that he uh, changed. And I'm gonna change those settings too. Uh, so I'm just gonna go to auto support, go to advanced settings. What you wanna do is come down to contact shape from sphere, select none, okay? Embed depth from 0 0.20 to 0 0.05. And then for the um, tip diameter here, 0 0.30 to 0 0.22. And then you go ahead and you generate the auto support. So you see that all that information is still there, still change, hit generate. And I found this to be easier to remove the supports when you do this. And I don't know if they've tweaked something with their algorithm. The printer itself is always updating and I download the latest update today. And now I have gotten the smoothest release from the supports that I have had since I started using this printer. I'm not using any post release module because I don't have one. But every time I wanted to release the supports, it was always a little bit of a struggle. I had to use heat in order to make it easy. But for some reason, this time around, it was a lot easier, a lot cleaner to remove. But anyway, there you go. Right there, there's the supports. I'll go over to slice, whatever, slice the file. And then it's just going to do its thing. And now you see that the slicing is finished. So I can click on this here 
and usually there will be a send button but since I'm not online all I can do is save as and then I'll put it on a USB stick take it over to the printer put it in and then that's how I will print so that is how the offline mode works with the with the blueprint studio with the ultracraft reflex RS or the uh, other ultracraft reflex it's here so if that was something that was putting you off because you're really upset about that well it's no longer a thing now so that's it thank you all so much for watching till next time take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.